So Chevron, Exxon, ConocoPhillips, Marathon, and then Shell and BP, which have are not based in the United States but have major U.S. affiliates yeah. and spend millions and millions and millions of dollars in the United States on lobbying and on candidates. Uh -huh. These are the companies that are poised to win this prize in Iraq. And that's through their promotion of a Bush administration policy called the Iraq Oil Law, <laughs> which is a law proposed by the United States for the Iraqis to pass, which would change Iraq from having a nationalized oil system to a privatized oil system. Doing what they did for water, for electricity, but doing it for oil. Were that to happen in the model that's being proposed, these companies would get the thing that they wanted. 20-year contracts to be able to own and control the production of Iraqi oil. U.S. government documents, hang on one second, let me just, because I'm going on too long, I'm going to wrap up and then we'll take any comments and we can move on. Um, U.S. government documents have said that the U.S. government understands that if the oil law passes and the oil companies get the contracts, they will need to be, and I quote, underwritten by the U.S. government. No, that doesn't mean financially, that means militarily. Oh, that the United States military will have to stay to ensure that they continue producing. So, oh, so that's what he means by the war on terror is going to take a long time? <laughs> it's going to take a while. Um, the uh, oil law, and then this is where I'm going to end, has been a model of very successful international corporate organizing. Because the activists in, um, in Britain and in uh, Dutch is the what? Netherlands, Netherlands. Holland, <laughs> and the Netherlands, um, and the United States and Iraq, and in Iraq, have joined forces to raise awareness and intention to try and stop the oil law. And we have succeeded for five years. The oil companies have jumped up their pressure on the Iraqis to pass the law. The U.S. government has jumped up its pressure on the Iraqis to pass the law. And the Iraqis have resisted, and Americans have supported them, and the folks where Shell and BP are headquartered have supported them as well. And it's been framed as an anti-corporate campaign, a corporate accountability campaign, that's also an anti-war campaign, all all in one. And that has brought in people who wouldn't necessarily be organizing in the same room together, has brought in strategizing that is unique on how you can target corporations but also bring in the message about the war. So for the five year anniversary of the war in the Bay Area, we're doing a protest at Chevron's refinery in Richmond. Richmond is a largely African American low income community where the dirtiest, one of the dirtiest refineries in the country is producing, where it's refining Iraqi <coughs> oil. Oh. And so anti-war protesters from San Francisco are going to go to Richmond, support the local activists in their fight against the refinery, and bring in the message of the war and, the, and their anti-war and, and anti organizing, and bring in communities organizing together who wouldn't otherwise be organizing together. I'm and that's sorry. one of the beauties of, 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 of corporate organizing. When are you doing that? That's March 15th in the Bay Area. And this is where I'm going to wrap up. So so you uh, have a comment? Oh, I, so I'm sorry for not knowing this. Right. California has a place called Richmond. Richmond Richmond's is uh, the Richmond community uh, in the Bay Area. <coughs> Richmond is 17 miles away from San Francisco. Oh, okay. And it's a shipbuilding area. It's basically a cancer alley. Chevron has a refinery. Yeah. ConocoPhillips has a refinery. So it's a like Henry Row. It's like oh, Henry Row. So yeah. yeah. So let's get the last comment. About the Iraqi oil yeah. law mm -hmm. was actually one of the conditions, one of Bush's benchmarks. The benchmark, that's that right. That was set uh, prior to the surge. That's one right. Of the, one of the goals that Bush wanted to see uh, accomplished, it has not yet passed, but they keep dancing on it. And thank God the Iraqi government is so totally inept. The, 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 this is one of the benchmarks. So whenever you hear Congress talk about the benchmarks for Iraq, or any political leader talk about the need for Iraqis to pass the benchmarks, mm. 
This is one of the best ones. Didn't Chevron already sign a contract with the Kurds? No. Uh, the Kurdistan region passed its own law and smaller oil companies signed on and um, that's, a, that's a longer discussion and I'm, and I'm conscious of, about the time. So um, uh, things are moving forward very, very quickly right now in Iraq. The oil companies are signing contracts. They're trying to put pressure on the Iraqi government to pass the law. The Kurdistan government is doing whatever it can because it wants U.S. troops to stay because the Kurds are afraid of what will happen if the United States leaves. So they're doing whatever they can to get to do to open themselves up to whatever is being asked of them, and they already passed their own version of the oil law. Any last comments? Great. So um, hopefully that'll give us some ideas for organizing around corporations, and then just to, to really quickly because the point that you brought in about walking. One of the beauty, beauties about anti-corporate organizing is that in just about any example, there's a better alternative than the corporate answer that we can bring in. We don't need oil, we really don't. Yeah. We can walk, we can have public transportation, there's a million things that we can do and we don't need Chevron. I have a friend who wants to organize a get rid of Chevron campaign, not hold them accountable. Oh, but in, this summer, this summer. Yeah, oh, really? but, yeah. but in just about any other, just about every area of corporate organizing, there is a version that we can do where we don't need them at all. Ooh. And that's one of the, 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 the brilliance and strengths of organizing around corporations. So thank you all very, very much. <laughs>